Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Striking techniques today, we're going to look at all kind of different variables of the hand position we can use, keeping kind of the structure that we looked at with the jab and the cross from the straight punches. If we review them very quickly, I have my stability stance here, and I throw my lead hand jab and rear hand cross. So cross that from the side, lead hand jab, rear hand cross. On the other side, lead hand jab, rear hand cross. Most of the components of those straight punches are going to transfer over some different weapons we use with our hands. So the idea of protection, that my shoulder comes up to my jaw from this angle right here. As I do that, boom, the shoulder is there protecting my jaw. That back hand comes up tight to protect the rest of my face. It doesn't stay down here so I can get hit. And my chin is down. I'm not punching like this where I'm open. So shoulder, protection, chin down. Those things all stay the same. As I throw the punches, my body is still going to rotate. I'm still going to push off the ground, push the hip forward, and fire my strike. The only thing that's going to change is I'm going to kind of take off my punch weapon, and I put on a different weapon. And first off, we're going to look at this palm heel strike. So with a palm heel, I'm hitting with this kind of hard part of my uh, palm at the bottom right here. My fingers are pulled back, and I can, I can either pull them down or have them straight up. I just don't want them flared, because if I catch one of these digits, it's very likely to get damaged. Also, the thumb is tucked nicely in. So for palm heel, I shoot forward and forward. Notice all the things are exactly the same from the straight punches. I just have a different weapon on my hand right here. Palm heel, palm heel. There's a slight incline of this. Rather than coming straight out, I'm looking to come from underneath and poke up. So the palm heel lead, palm heel rear. Watch from this side. Palm heel lead, palm heel rear. Here, palm heel lead, palm heel rear. So that's the palm heel. Again, keeping everything the same from the straight punches. Pushing off the ground, rotating the hip, protecting the head, shoulder to jaw, hand on the side, chin down. We'll now take off the palm heel, and I'm just gonna make a straight side knife right here. So I'm gonna hit with the edge of my hand right here. It's like chopping down. But it comes from straight. Boom, it comes out here. As I rotate, look where the hand goes, and then extends out. So I've got side knife, side knife. Side knife, side knife. And the side, keeping that nice and tight. Thumb is tucked in, fingers slightly bent. Side knife, protection, protection, protection. Side knife. Other side. Side knife, side knife. Looking to hit the jaw, maybe the temple, maybe the side of the neck there with that one. We can turn that into a fist. We've already covered this in the hammer fist, but we're going to review it again. My fists are here. I can hit almost like a horizontal sock kill or a horizontal hammer fist. But notice everything stays the same. Lead hand, shoulder to the jaw, chin down, hand on the side. Rear hand, rotate through with the hip. Shoulder to the jaw, hand on the side, chin down. Hammer fist, hammer fist. Hammer fist, hammer fist. Hammer fist, hammer fist. So we've done straight punches, palm heel, side knife, and the horizontal hammer fist. All very, very similar. The only thing that's changed is kind of the weapon we use on the end of our arm. Instead of a fist, it's an open palm, or it's kind of a knife structure right here. We can also do uh, the tiger claw. So from here, I can reach out, and this is really going for the straight of the face, and whether it just distracts them or actually does some damage to eyes, that can be dependent on the situation. So I come straight out and straight out. From the side, tiger claw, tiger claw. Other side, tiger claw, tiger claw. All different strikes that can work. The last one, which is quite dangerous if it is done effectively, so we have to think about that legal and moral and ethical points of view we talked about in the introduction is making kind of like a hand shape here we call it tiger claw and hakido uh, but imagine just holding a cup pretty wide cup right here and this is looking to hit the trachea with the kind of big knuckle of that uh, index finger right there so hitting right here so as i do that the same structure is there 
stability stance, hands are up, lead tiger mouth, rear tiger mouth right there, hands protecting, shoulders protecting, chins down, lead tiger mouth, rear tiger mouth, on the side, lead tiger mouth, rear tiger mouth. So, you don't have to remember all those names, just kind of remember, I can make fists, palm heels, tiger claws, tiger mouths, knife hand structures. With the fist, I can use the front or the bottom, and we'll get to some overhand and hook punches later on as we move forward. Stay safe and enjoy your training, Bruins.